Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Wilma here and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a very easy DIY hair mask recipe. If you use this hair mask once a week, it is going to prevent hair loss, it is going to promote hair growth, it is going to condition your scalp as well as your hair, it is going to prevent dandruff and bacteria in your scalp which is a very common problem nowadays. So uh, the two ingredients that you require is first is your Moringa powder and second is curd. Now curd is very easily available in the market. This powder I have made at home. For those of you who don't know what is Moringa, it is your drumsticks tree. Drumsticks usually uh, South Indians use in Sambar. We already have a Moringa tree in the backyard. I have dried the leaves of the Moringa tree for two days and I have got this powder by blending it in a blender. For those of you who don't have a Moringa tree, that's fine. I'm going to share the link in the description box below so you can just check it out. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video and the demo. So the two ingredients for this mask are Moringa powder and curd. Moringa powder is a natural remedy to fight hair loss, dry hair and dandruff. It contains zinc that stimulates your hair growth. It contains minerals like calcium, copper, iron, potassium and magnesium. Moringa powder is rich of vitamin A, vitamin E and vitamin B and has a high content of sulphur which helps to stimulate your natural hair growth and scalp problems. Next here we have curd. Curd is rich in protein, hydrates scalp and eliminates dandruff. It conditions your hair and makes your hair strong. Here I have taken 3 tablespoons full of curd and 3 teaspoons full of uh, moringa powder. Just mix it really well and make it a very fine paste. Don't make the paste too thick because you have to massage your scalp with this paste. So let's start with the application. Let's start with the application. Part your hair into two sections. Make sure that your scalp and your hair is not too greasy and oily. Apply this mask from roots to the ends. Make sure that your entire scalp is covered with this mask and then massage your scalp very gently for 3 to 4 minutes. It's very important to massage your scalp because this mask has to get absorbed in your scalp and then apply it on your entire hair. You can use a brush if you want to. Leave this mask on your hair for around 1 hour and then wash it off with a sulphate free shampoo and conditioner. So that was all for today's hair mask video. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and have a beautiful day ahead. Bye bye.